Hey, my name's Patrick. This is my 1983 Toyota Sunraider, four wheel drive conversion. We uh, about to get on the road now. Got our branding on last night at one in the morning. Sponsor stickers will be on soon. Winch bumper, 35 inch tires, PRZ swap. We're headed to King of the Hammers. This is the first road trip. We have about 350 miles on it. Yesterday we got the bumper done, got all the final touches. We were here till about one in the morning, so that was rough. A little bit of branding on the rear, a little bit of branding on the side. That'll let people know who we are. So other than that, this thing's ready to go. We have uh, 11 hours to Southern California, Johnson Valley where King of the Hammers is. So gonna go ahead and get on the road. It's gonna be a long one. So wish us luck. All right, so the temp gauge is a little higher than I have seen it when it's happy. So it just seems to have gone up a little bit. I have been hauling, we're going, I mean, 70 miles an hour, 75. And uh, it looks like it might be getting a little warm. At the gas station, we will decide if it's low on cooling. And if it is, we'll add some cooling. We'll try and find a cooling. Last night we drove till it got late. Found this sick camp spot next to uh, the train tracks. Train tracks were very loud. Closest thing you see there. And then we got the highway over there, which you can hear. There's the interstate signage right there. So um, naturally, couldn't just have nothing go wrong. So we uh, popped an airbag in the rear because lack of time to fix said mount. I, uh, long story, 10 and a half inch wide tires times two leads to a popped airbag so i want to fix that at least before we get to hammers to make it look cool right so it doesn't quite sit level because i haven't put the replacement springs in the rear yet long story long story but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive over to the pavement and throw an airbag in the rear of this so let's do that now all right cold start in the warm arizona desert real low but runs well all right made it to the pavement and uh don't step through the cattle grate if you don't know these uh craftsman cool roll things super gangster from lowe's they got pretty much everything you need to do pretty much most roadside repairs and sometimes they look like this but it all goes in here nice All right, so in that dirt parking lot next to that train, he did an alignment. I drove over here so I could replace the airbags. And now we have airbags that have air in them. So I think it's time to go get on the road to Hammers. What are you doing? I'm washing the car so people don't think I don't wash my cars like I actually don't. And where are we? Uh, Cali, Barstow. <laughs> yeah, this is the first wash since I bought the thing. Slacker. While well, he's doing that, letting the dog stretch the paws. Oh, 
Oh boy. Uh, what do I got? 22 seconds. We're about 40 minutes away. And talk to Bill from down to Mob. He's already there. Stoked we're gonna be there. Got a bunch of people meeting out there. A bunch of new friends, a bunch of old friends, a bunch of internet friends. So we are pumped. And, and uh, yeah, it's sick. The Sun Raiders are doing sick. I'm screaming in third because we're going up hills. All right, back to fourth. We're doing 60, no problem. You know, just cruising. Not really getting past other than by people who are like race car driving. But yeah, it is a good time. And uh, we are, we're, we're, we're there. Cars, what do you think? Go. Yeah. Yeah. We are cooking in the Sun Raider in actually low and we're just mobbing through the line. We are at Hammertown. You can see it all out there. Kind of. We've been in line for a while. It's dusty out here. I already got stuff in my eyes and uh, we didn't bring enough bandanas. So we're going to be on the hunt for one of those. And now Nicholas wants to rewrite me. Maybe he has Alright, maybe he doesn't want to rent me. I got a bumper. Anyway, we're headed over to the gate. We're gonna get in, we're gonna meet with Phil. He's at the gate waiting for us. And we're stoked. Super stoked. Stoked level 10. Carnage! Is it stoked? <laughs> Welcome to Hammertown, USA. I'm so sad we didn't bring the bikes. Next year, at least we made it. Next year, now we know. We knew. Shh. Oh. And there they are, coming into Hammertown. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Dope. Do you like, does your suspension work? Well, we're in the sand doing 25. So, I say it gets all right. It's not even that rambly in here. We've had worse highways. Phil is going off into the distance. Ooh, it's less freaking nutty out here. This is so sad. It's King of the Hammers. Shoot it. First it was crazy. What? And kind of hit some whoops in the motorhome. And I met up with Phil and a mob. Had some good times. Went and saw Chocolate Thunder. Didn't see too much carnage, but it was good. Met a bunch of Phil's new friends. Our new friends, they're cool. And uh, yeah, we'll have a lot more adventures today. But for now, I'm waking up. Curing a little bit of a headache and uh, getting ready to eat some breakfast. Breakfast! Sitting on top of the Sun Reader watching all of this chaos unfold, I knew the week was going to be wild, but little did I know how wild this week was going to get. Dude, how does it feel? <laughs> oh, yes. He's on his way. Look at him! Dude, he's... Look at him! He's right? He is down to mob. That's that's on Raider, bro. From trophy trucks to stretch limousines with four wheel drive to amazing side by sides that mobbed through the desert, this week was absolutely unreal and we will 100% be returning to King of the Hammers. This has been an amazing, amazing event and it's still just barely getting started.
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are we doing? Uh, we're here at Ultra 3, and uh, <laughs> tonight, instead of four wheels, chopping one and going three wheels, these guys got a circle track set up, and every time of the year, this night on Tuesday, they go ham. So we're here to watch. Chocolate Thunder, and you would never guess who we found out here on the lake bed. So here's the Sun Raider, and right over here, dang, Toyota World Runners in their sick Toyota Chinook. So of course I'm going to be super creepy and look all over it and see what I don't like about it, but I'm sure I love it all. So definitely stoked to finally see their rig. I've met the guys up on the hill, and yeah, check it out. All right, so at this point, we run into these old boys who have sunk their diesel with their 25-foot bumper pull camper. And me being me, I had to go over there and see if they wanted a hand. They kind of laughed at first because, uh, well, it's a four-wheel drive motorhome. And they're like, oh, you think? I was like, oh, I got a winch. We'll yank you out. So I'm getting the winch out, getting ready to pull these guys out. And once we get hooked up to them, really, it came out super easy. And that is testing those welds that I did on that front bumper because... Neither of these rigs are light. Sun Raider comes in at almost 7,000 pounds, and I'm sure that combo is well over 12 or 13,000 pounds. So seeing it come out pretty effortlessly with the Sun Raider, and once we got him free, you'll see here in a second, we just uh, hooked a strap up and yanked him back out of all that soft stuff. And the Sun Raider, of course, did great and got him right out. And here you see yet again another one ton Ford sunk in the sand and another Toyota motorhome yanking him out. This time we just opted for a kinetic rope and we had just enough in there to get him popped out of there and drag him over to his camp. And clearly his fifth wheel was quite a bit larger. I'm sure that was about a 20,000 pound pull. So. Apple pie? You ever had that before? Mm -hmm. Apple pie? You're driving, are you? Oh, I'm driving. Yeah. Well, not tonight, are you? No, I got really a fuel. I was had to get fuel. Will you come back? Yeah, I'll stop by. Stop by, come back. Just stop by. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, John. Battery. And here you'll just see us messing around in the Sun Raider. We're just having a good time, taking it out to the desert, seeing what it's capable of, and coming real, real, real close to dragging that bumper on the ground. Oh, actually, we hit it just a little bit. As you can see, it has a ton of body roll. We didn't have any airbags or sway bars on it this time, so it was uh, quite the interesting ride at times, but it did really good overall. Impressed the hell out of me, especially for as little time as we put in it to get it to where it was. So here you'll see a huge group of people kind of swarm me after I mob up the hill and uh, yeah, this thing gets a ton of attention no matter where we go. So it's always chatting with people who are just stoked with the rig and I love talking to people about the rig because obviously I love this rig. And then here you'll see a couple clips that a couple people sent me on Instagram. They're like, hey dude, is this you out of King of the Hammers? And it was just cool to have people actually sending me videos of my rig mobbing through Hammertown. Jesus, dude.
get in the car and get on the road. you're seeing here is me just toying around I had already actually stopped and offered uh, this Lexus that you're about to see that is sunk a tow they were reluctant to take a tow from a Toyota motorhome so they decided they wanted to keep digging but this is basically the most sandy part and where the motorhome can actually excel um, it doesn't do super great but it does just good enough that it can have a good time um, and yeah I got a little bit you know lack of forward forward momentum here but we just uh, backed up and hit it till we got around um, yeah this thing is so much fun I cannot express how fun it is just to see people smiles when they see the motorhome going by on rev limiter so yeah I absolutely love this thing and I doubt I'll ever get rid of it time with a little gas. Yeah, again, all the way up, don't stop. There you go. Now you're driving it like a Yoda owner, lots of gas. First gear, let out the clutch and just let it crawl through. <laughs> hey, what are we doing right now? You're good, you're good. So what are we doing right now? I'm trying to learn how to drive. Alright. Alright, so you're gonna back up through that. <laughs> Babe, back up through it. Back up through it, you got it. Put it in reverse, you got this. And that basically concludes our trip to King of the Hammers. We already did a video of us coming back from Hammers, so this is just a recap of our time at Hammers. We wish we could have recorded more, but we were just busy making life memories. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this stuff, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we really hope that we'll see you next week. Thanks again.